Tennis is the fourth most watched sport on the planet. It has everything, drama, excitement, heartbreaking losses and astonishing wins. Tennis gets more and more popular around the globe and today I am here to give you 5 reasons why you absolutely should start to play tennis right now. I mean right now. So I wait here, you book a tennis session. Finish? Good. Let's go into the video. I am no scientist, but I am fascinated by a study from the Copenhagen Heart Clinic that suggests that tennis players live approximately 9.7 years longer. I am not sure how much of this is true, but it is common sense that tells us that tennis is a remarkable sport for building coordination, endurance and strength. It is essentially a high intensity interval training demanding sprints, break and sprints again, all spanning from a 60 minute to 3 hours depending on the match duration. It's definitely an enjoyable form of cardio. What surprises me every time is the intensity of muscle soreness I have the following day. Even more when I did not play for a couple of weeks. It's a full body workout strengthening not just your legs, but also your cores, abs, shoulders and more. Also the most important muscle will be trained and that is your heart. Furthermore, there's also the advantage that you will burn a lot of calories, which is good. Depending on the intensity, you get around somewhere between 400 to 600 calories per hour that will be burned. For sure one of the funniest and exciting ways to get a good workout in. While the GOAT debate divided tennis enthusiasts for some time now, the debate is more or less settled. Who is your GOAT? Comment down below. The tennis community can transform into a good family. At my tennis club, where I have been part of practically my entire life, I forged bonds that will last forever. My closest friend and I started in junior tennis and I've continued playing training ever since. Well, 20 years already. I've made another friend who joined the club like a decade ago and to this day they remain very close friends. I genuinely appreciate their presence in my life. Even though some of them are approaching the big 40 and getting old now. Just kidding guys. We still share our passion for tennis and the love for the game. But the connections extend beyond our tennis club. You'll form friendships even with those you've competed against. You can relieve the matches, love and discuss the unforgettable points and the camaraderie is something I treasure a lot. Also the community I'm building with you on social media is also a testament to a shared love for the sport. You share your own record journey stories, offer support for my content and provide valuable feedback that motivates me to keep improving. Thank you for being part of the community. In tennis, sports and in life, there are no guarantees. No matter how prepared you are, how well you have trained, there will be losses. It's how you respond to those losses that sets the good apart from the best. You will lose tennis matches, make mistakes and have moments of self-doubt no matter what. However, it's your reaction after these moments that truly matters. I can relate to this from my own journey in my junior days when between the ages of 10 and 15 I was seen as a talented player. Yet I lost so many matches to opponents with seemingly worse technique, I wasn't mentally ready to win. Frustration, tears and record breaks were pretty common. My parents definitely had a challenging time during that phase. Still, I didn't give up. I tried various approaches to become better mentally and a better tennis player overall and today I often find myself defeating players I once lost to very clearly. This mentality also extends beyond tennis and influences my life. I strive to learn and improve one step at a time. Even though I make daily mistakes, I keep working to get better 1% at a time. Tennis helped to teach me this invaluable lesson for life and I'm more than grateful that my parents let me keep playing even though I was giving them a hard time. Love you both. Tennis is a sport for life. It may not be as intense in your 60s as it was in your 20s, but you can continue playing anyways. My dad, now approaching 60, is still going strong after 30 years of competitive tennis. Despite knee, shoulder and elbow surgeries, his love for the game is unwavering. He eagerly steps on the court every time and aspires to have the same excitement at his age. In fact, I know people in their mid-70s who still compete in the Austrian Bundesliga ages 70 plus, the highest level of tennis in Austria. 
It's evident that if our bodies permit, we can enjoy the sports for decades. And even if you don't want to compete, there's still a possibility to play doubles and just have fun with your colleagues. And maybe have a drink or two afterwards, but don't drink and drive. Tennis is indeed a form of hit cardio and not all workouts are enjoyable as much as this. Also, sometimes tennis is not as fun. The key is to make tennis as fun as possible. My best friend and I experiment with new games and tricks we discover online. We try touch exercises in the forecourt, engage in volley training and even have fun with silly games. We attempt trick shots, play around with drop shots with crazy amount of backspin and even try our hand at tweeners. Tennis practice and training have to be enjoyable to inspire improvement. Of course, discipline, motivation and a strong work ethic is essential to get better. But even the pros indulge in some lighthearted activities during practices or warm-ups. For me, the fun comes also from exploring various rackets, diving into discussion about different brands and engaging with you all to talk about tennis gear. This sense of enjoyment drives me to keep creating and improving my content. I hope you're now inspired to start this wonderful sport and if you do already play, keep going, don't quit and if you need a new racket, check out this video next.